Hey, what's up everybody? Crap Gamer here with Crap Gamer Reviews back with another video. Thank you guys for checking it out. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button because I would appreciate it. You know, Digital Foundry slash Eurogamer actually dropped some new information about Xbox Scorpio as far as the GPU and what's being used in it. And they also elaborated a little bit more on the CPU. And first thing I want to say is uh, I always get it out of the way that I'm not a tech guy. I mean, I know some people that know some stuff, and I am learning because it's kind of fascinating to kind of pick some of this stuff up. And so I'm learning as I go, and, you know, I have people kind of help me out along the way. Uh, and, and some people that already did a video about this subject, like D-Batch and Dealer Gaming, uh, they know a, a lot more than me. But the basics of this and the gist of it I got, and I can kind of pass that on to you guys, and I can link the article so you can read it yourself and kind of determine what's going on. Uh, but we were all kind of wondering what was inside the GPU, what kind of architecture, uh, what kind of tech, and now we have a better idea of that thanks to this new, newly published this morning Eurogamer article, and they actually uh, do a good job of kind of breaking it down that it is, use, it is in fact actually using uh, Polaris and Vega features in it. Uh, again, uh, after having listened to the dealer gaming D-Batch kind of thing, I want to also kind of point out that it's not full-on Vega you know so having vega parts isn't obviously as good but it also goes to show you that this is a highly custom chip and so that 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 should be commended as well because you can't just go into a place and buy this and i think that that speaks volumes for microsoft's ingenuity and and same thing with the cpu when they were talking about it and they mentioned that they don't even consider it jag cores uh, because they've done so much modification and overclocking to it so uh, i think that that is going to really help the scorpio out in the long run and I will read this a little bit uh, to you, uh, what, what it says, and you guys can check this out as well uh, because it is kind of in interesting, uh, a little bit tech heavy, uh, but it is definitely interesting nonetheless. Um, here we go. The Xbox One architecture was chosen as the base to better facilitate backwards compatibility, but similar to Sony's PlayStation 4 Pro, Microsoft had the option to factor in features from later Radeon architectures. Uh, so here we go. He says, we have Polaris features in Scorpio that we picked up. Some of the big ones are Delta color compression, so that helps us out on our bandwidth, both for 4K textures and 4K rendering solutions to achieve that. Uh, it's typically quite easy for the developers to integrate, and then uh, also more transparently, we picked up some geometry and quad scheduling improvements AMD has done in its Polaris architecture. Um, some performance optimizations from the upcoming AMD Vega architecture factor into Scorpio's engine's designs as well. Um, so they do mention it right there, right there. AMD Vega architecture uh, is actually in here. So it's definitely interesting that they mention that. Um, yeah, you know, it's like they really talk about how they built the Xbox Scorpio around the, the software, the silicon first. Uh, and they basically kind of worked out all the kinks and the bugs and the problems and things like that. I completely, like, understand that. I mean, some of the more tech stuff is something that maybe I don't understand as much, but this for sure is something that uh, everybody can pretty much understand because they're talking about, uh, you know, just basic hardware, and I think even if you're just kind of a casual gamer or casual hardware aficionado, uh, you're going to pick this stuff up. Um Let's see, it says, but it's Project Scorpio status as a console designed to enhance the current gen titles with 4K functionality that help most in defining the characteristics of the silicon. Typically, platform holders create console hardware and the developers do their best to fully exploit it. This time around, Microsoft could profile the game engines that would run on Scorpio and optimize the design to get the most out of the content. So Microsoft was really ingenious here and to the first of my knowledge, might be the first to have actually kind of built their console around these engines and things like that um and then by putting DirectX 12 and stuff like that right into the console this is a huge bonus for pretty much anything coming from ea anything coming from microsoft anything coming from a lot of these places and i think that's super important uh and this is a good read through if you guys want to check it out uh and and let me know what you think uh it does get a little bit technical but maybe you're the technical type and you know i have a little bit of an outlet and voice to kind of get this across so let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys have a good Easter weekend. Yes, there is going to be a new MNC Mornings tomorrow. Uh, strictly the reason why we didn't cancel it is because of the Patreon obligations. And uh, we put a lot of effort into doing the show each week. And we didn't want to throw that away. So we will be doing a show 11 a.m. Eastern. Come check it out. Say hi. Uh, have a good one. Rack them up. Crap Gamer out.